Well, it's that time of year again. It came by pretty fast, but today is car washing day. So it's nice and sunny out today. It's you know summertime, nice and warm out. Great day to do it. There's no reason why we shouldn't. So Hudson and I have been chosen. Yeah, there's a lot of nads out. <laughs> Hudson and I have been chosen to wash down the car. So we got a nice hose over there, lawn, and um, some soapy water and a couple rags. And that's really all we need. Speaking of a lot of gnats being around, it looks like the car's hit up quite a few um, bug this recently so this is a good time to wash the car it's looking a little bit rough but um thankfully us boys are pretty proficient at washing cars over um in indonesia where we grew up um when we were out in town and stuff you know there were no car washes and so us boys had to wash all the cars so we've done pretty good at it over the years but um we also enjoy it it's kind of a fun fun thing to do on a nice sunny day out get a little wet These gnats, I don't know, I'm not joking, they are terrible today. There's like millions of, me, of them, they just follow me everywhere. <laughs> you can't get them off me. I can't shake them. <laughs> when us boys wash cars, um, the position everybody always fights for is hose man. That's always the funnest job. Because not only do you get to spray down the car, but you always get to accidentally spray down your um, brothers as well. You guys come over here, I'll show you a trick real quick. If you're washing a car with limited amount of people, what you can do to save water is just pinch it over like this and then fit it under the wheel of your car while you're um, washing washing it down. So if like, you're a one man car washing guy, you can just put the hose under there, save water, scrub down what you need and then hose it off again. This is a really neat little car. All of us boys really like it. But um, it has a really cool story behind it actually. It, um, it used to be my great grandmother's before she passed away. And um, she came to live with my grandma and grandpa here in Niceville um, a couple of years back. And um, she was getting to the point in her life where she was um, getting older and she didn't really have a need for a car. Grandma and grandpa pretty much um, took her to all the different places that she needed to be. And so she um, decided to give it to us boys, which was a huge blessing. And it really filled a neat niche because at that time, Morgan was about to go out to college, and so he needed a car. And so it was just a really neat way that the Lord blessed us that year. Anyways, and so, as you can see, we're trying to take good care of it, washing it down today. But um, it's done a lot of good use, and um, it's seen, you know, Morgan through driving, Hudson through driving, and um, Kian and I are on the way. So, yeah, really nice little car. I think it's really amazing how over and over again um, in the Bible we see God's faithfulness and His willingness to provide for His people. Especially um, in the Old Testament, you see um, how the Lord just rescues the Israelites um, over and over again. You know, starting out in Egypt, they were enslaved to the Egyptians, and you know, God rescued them in amazing ways. Had all these amazing miracles to um, show His power. And then also throughout the Old Testament, the Israelites are either under attack or they're in bondage to other nations. And the Lord again shows his faithfulness and providing for them and he always makes a way. And um, so I've seen that many, many times in my own lifetime. And this car is just one more example of that, how the Lord always provides um, in abundance. And so that's something that's been really cool that I've been able to see um, in my lifetime, especially growing up over the field. God always, just in amazing ways was providing for uh, my family and showed his faithfulness so that's really cool and not only did God provide for his you know chosen people the Israelites he also provided for his enemies even the Bible talks about you know 
if you love um, your family and your friends, you know, what does that mean? But if you love your enemies, then that's really something. And God um, does that himself by, I mean, not just stuff like food and water and stuff like that, but, you know, every single sustaining breath God um, gives to people. And so we take that for granted all the time. But um, I think, you know, one day, probably at the consummation of the ages, you know, everybody's going to realize all the different times that they took for granted the gifts that um, God has given us. But by far the most amazing gift that um, has been bestowed upon us is that God sent His um, only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for the sins of the world. That is truly the greatest provision. Just because my great-grandma gave us this car doesn't mean it's an old grandma car. Let me show you my bride. So I can't drive yet, but when I do, it's going to be pretty groovy. That's reality. <laughs> yeah, come help out. It's okay. I'm waiting on Hudson. We're gonna play a little match of Batman. And uh, when some people play Batman, it's kind of just, you know, ding, ding, ding. But um, when us boys play, sometimes it can get pretty serious, so. The war is on. Ready? All right, bring me on. I beat you. Good game. Good game, my son. They don't call me the Racketeer for nothing. It's a good game. Stay in the grass. Victory again. That's insane in the grass. Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.